Senate File 38 goes back to 2004 when uh, Denise Dietrich got elected into the legislature and I filled her um, school board seat in 2005. We heard a, a report on just the, the free and reduced. And at the time, Anoka Hennepin School District was at about 22% free and reduced. Now we're at about 42% free and reduced. But still the numbers were there and it was enough to uh, bring caution to us saying that we know what research says regarding when it's testing time, everybody gets a breakfast, everybody gets a lunch, everybody gets a snack. Uh, we need to level the playing field here. Some of you may not know that school districts uh, turn children away or give cheese sandwiches or peanut butter sandwiches. Legal Aid, I found out about this about uh, five years ago. We found out that kids were uh, who were coming to the lunch counter and didn't have money for lunch were getting crackers and milk or a peanut butter sandwich or a cheese sandwich. And we were really disturbed by it. We thought it was stigmatizing. But then we learned, actually, uh, those cheese sandwiches and, and peanut butter sandwiches are, are a good thing because we have districts that turn children away with nothing. And I've been up here uh, five years now trying to get legislators to pay attention to this issue. And um, frankly, legislators just haven't believed us. They haven't believed us that it's a real issue and that it's really happening and that anybody would turn a child away. So about a year and a half ago, we partnered with four private law firms downtown Minneapolis to survey as many school districts as we could. And we, uh, we got to almost 200 school districts. I provided a, a packet, um, a summary of the, of the lunch survey project uh, that, that legal aid worked on in your uh, in your packet and what we found is that about 20 percent of school districts do turn children away with nothing this bill would help support the 23 percent of the s students that aren't currently participating in the program and also help the families that are currently trying to pay their bill um, you know the 40 cents for their meals that are struggling and can't pay hungry kids are more likely to be sick they're also more likely to get more severe types of sicknesses and to be sicker for longer periods of time. These children miss more school. They are more likely to struggle with mental illness and emotional problems. They're more likely to be suspended from school. They're more likely to repeat a grade. And finally, they're more likely to fall behind their peers, not only physically and socially, but cognitively, setting themselves up for a pretty tough adulthood that hungry kids are more likely to have behavior problems. They're more likely to engage in delinquent behavior. They're more likely to be involved with police departments, sheriff's departments, and the criminal justice system as a whole. They're also more likely to engage in substance abuse and to need health care services, including hospitalizations. There was a comment earlier that there are a number of uh, families that don't sign up for the free and reduced lunch program, uh, but they're eligible. And I'm of the, of the opinion that there are a lot of families that are eligible that shouldn't sign up. And, and I use myself as an example. Um, uh, when I plug my family into the formula, I can make somewhere between, depending on how you count, somewhere between seventy dollars and $80,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that somebody making $70,000 a year should be getting public subsidies uh, of any sort, really. Um, it, it, and, and that's why I included that $50,000 capitation, because at $50,000, you are very much um, average income, middle income. And, and, and I think we need to be judicious in how we spend the taxpayers' dollars. Uh, if there's an argument to be made that there are concerns and problems that result from uh, children not uh, getting proper nutrition, we can look at that. But uh, the, the bill is drafted really as kind of a... Uh, a, a sledgehammer when we could be using a scalpel, in my opinion. The last thing that we want to do is to provide uh, excess subsidies to people who don't need them. We really are absolutely hyper-focused on those who need them to make sure that children um, are fed and not hungry throughout the day.